We're at a point where we would want to add audio into this file. So the next several tutorials will guide us through downloading audio and put it, importing it in here and cutting it down and editing it, and maybe even editing the soundtracks that are already in here. So there's a couple of things that we can do um, with audio. The first thing we do is find audio. So I've opened up some tabs and you might need to pause your video, this instructional video, if you want to follow along. I will also tell you that there are other resources. So for the tools that I use, I will put links in the description, um, but you you can find other, other tools online to do the same exact thing. So on YouTube, I searched for happy copyright free Mac background music and it gives me a whole lot of different types. I might also search for royalty free music, but the idea is you put in the emotion that you need to convey, whether it's a happy emotion, maybe it's an urgent emotion, maybe it's a sad or scary kind of effect that people need to be having. Whatever that emotion search for and find the, the, the background audio. So this is a fun, audio that I'd like to put in my video. So I'm going to copy the web address, control C. Once I select it, control C. And I want to go to this website. It's YT, which stands for YouTube, to MP3. So it's going to rip the audio file from a YouTube video. And all I have to do is click and paste. There's other websites to do this. I want to download the file. I will tell you that this website gives you some pop-ups. You do not need to click I am a robot. If you give it enough time, it starts to download for you. So I'm going to just close out of here. I don't need it. It's downloading in the background. So while it's downloading in the background, I'll tell you that we're downloading an MP3 file, but Adobe Premiere does not like MP3 files very well. So we need to convert it to a WAV file. And again, there's a whole lot of tools to do that. I can upload my file and convert from MP3 p3 to wave or I happen to like this one because I edited it down a little bit and there's a lot of tools that allow me to do this as well so there's the whole audio track if I hit play and I just know that I don't need all of this so I'm going to select what I don't need and hit delete on the keyboard I reduced the sound I can also edit this, this down in Adobe Premiere but I just shortened it up a little bit I'm going to hit save I need to make sure it's a WAV file and hit save. When it downloads this new file, the new file is called, the edited file is called export.wav. The next time I save a file from this website, it'll be export one, then export two, then export three. So you just have to know the name of the file. I'm gonna go back to Premiere because now I have the file. I need to get it in my Premiere file. So I'm working on this demo project that we started together a few tutorials ago. And I first need to import this new file. So I'm going to go to my downloads file and I'm looking for this export audio file. So export WAV and go ahead and import the file. So now it's in there. It took a guess that you wanted it in there, but it started a brand new sequence. So I'm going to actually, and I'll show you what a new sequence is in another tutorial. I need to go to my previous sequence. So I'm double clicking on this one to get back there. And I want to import this audio into the file. And you can see that it's way longer than needed. So I did need to click on this first sequence this new sequence has nothing in it so i'm going to go back to sequence one you just drag this onto an audio layer a2 layer so let me delete and do that one more time export drag it to my a2 that's an audio layer and now if i play my movie i have that happy soundtrack in the background. So we're going to edit the file down in another tutorial, but this tutorial just went through finding the file, downloading it, saving it as a wave, importing it into Premiere and using it. 